Micah from your Pet Supply. And today we're switching things up a bit. We're talking about hummingbirds. Yeah, so hummingbirds are beautiful birds yeah. and it's super cool when you can successfully attract them in your yard. And so there's a few things that you can do to make that happen. For sure. So I've been told years ago uh -huh. that the rule of thumb is to make sure you get your hummingbird feeders out at or around tax season. Wait, that, that would be coming up, but it's actually been pushed back a month. I think it's mid-May now. Okay, so that won't work. <laughs> Not this year so anyway. Around mid-April, so okay. April 15th is ideal to get those hummingbird feeders out. <laughs> sure. And there, there's a lot of options when it comes to them. Some of them are very ornate and, and really pretty, mm -hmm. but your conventional, traditional hummingbird feeder is gonna be cylindrical and, okay. and it's gonna have a, um, the area in which you put nectar in. So oh. basically it's essentially just sugar water. That's what attracts them. Hummingbirds like have like a super rapid wing pace and they, yes. they move quickly, so they need a lot of sugar that helps with their energy. Really? Okay. So um, it's great to get these out. The color attracts them as well. Okay. So it's also ideal to put your hummingbird feeders out uh, like around your garden, wherever you're planting flowers or hanging baskets, sure. wherever it may be. My neighbor behind me, she has probably three or four hummingbird feeders and they're out all summer long and it's really? so cool. And she puts them in her garden around where all her flowers are. Okay. So hummingbirds are attracted to the color. So one thing to keep in mind uh -huh. that this is like a, a sugar water that works and it, it works really, really well, but it's kind of like Kool-Aid, which isn't like super mm -hmm. healthy. And we're always talking about things that are the most healthy for and good for animals. any of the animals. Yeah. yeah. So what I love and I think is super cool is the humbug feeder. What is it called? It's called the humbug. <laughs> okay. So this is really neat. So what you do is you open up this, you okay. take a banana or two, you chop them into a bunch of pieces. A banana? Yep. Okay. You put this outside and what naturally happens is you're going to get fruit flies. You're going to get tons okay. of fruit flies. Okay. That so that's doesn't pure sound appealing. protein. Not appealing to us, oh. but for the hummingbirds, it is so healthy. Really? So they will, again, be attracted by the color of this, and then okay. the fruit flies will be plentiful, and they'll stay within this general area because the bananas are inside. I never knew that. They'll eat these throughout the summer, and they'll do so well. Really? They'll love you for it, and then you'll get the enjoyment of being able to watch them throughout the, the season. How is our region for hummingbirds? Actually, really good. A lot of people don't recognize that. No. And what I'm hearing more recently, in the past few years, and I haven't seen them yet, but a lot of our customers are seeing Orioles. So we're getting more Orioles, okay. which is really, really neat. And there are Oriole feeders that we carry as well in our stores. Okay. You actually put orange slices out for them and they eat that and uh -huh. it's really kind of cool. I would love to see an Oriole, but I haven't yet. So for any of you guys out there that are you know, hoping to attract some really cute and pretty birds, this is the way to do it. Absolutely. And you know, forgive me, of course you're the expert here, but I didn't realize that like nectar and fruits would help feed birds. I thought it was your typical bird seed. Typically, hummingbirds completely different. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. That's why they got their own segment. That's it. All right, here's to having more hummingbirds in your garden. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.